In this video, I'd like to show you how you convert units that are a little bit more complicated. For example, density. In chemistry, you might be familiar with re recording and working with densities in units of grams per cubic centimeter. In fact, you might remember that the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. But in physics, the standard unit for mass is the kilogram, and the standard unit for length is the meter. So the standard unit for density is a kilogram per cubic meter. So how about we try to convert the density of ethanol, for example, which is 0.79 grams per cubic centimeter, into kilograms per cubic meter. The first way that comes to mind to do this would be to convert the numerator and the denominator separately. In other words, to start with the 0.79 grams and convert that into kilograms. So you'd have to ask yourself, what factors would I string along in order to convert grams into kilograms? And then you make this factor, string of factors like we've seen in the book and we've done in other examples. How are we going to convert grams to kilograms? Well, I do remember that one kilogram is the same as a thousand grams, 10 to the third. So in order to convert 0.79 grams into kilograms, I have to divide it by 10 to the third or 1,000. So if you do that on your calculator, I'm curious to see if you're able to work that out. I find that students have a little trouble initially working with scientific notation. You would enter this as 1 times 10 to the third. And since it's in a denominator on your calculator, you would be best to put parentheses around it. Alternatively, there is the capital E key on your calculator. That enters scientific notation for you. The E means times 10 to the. It's a bit more convenient. In any case, if you do this out in scientific notation, you end up with 7.9 times 10 to the minus 4 kilograms. Or, if you did it out the long way and you want that in just regular decimal notation, you'd have to put three zeros and then the seven and the nine. To remind you, the minus four means that you move the decimal place four to the left. So one, two, three, four. Now we gotta do the same thing with the volume. We gotta convert one cubic centimeter into cubic meters. So you've got to figure out what string of factors will do that for us. Now I do remember that there are a hundred centimeters in a meter. So I can use the times 10 to the. And you think that might do it, except there's a little bit of a trick here. You're not converting between centimeters and meters. We're converting between cubic centimeters and cubic meters. So although there are 100 centimeters in a meter, there are way more than 100 cubic centimeters in a cubic meter. Think of it like this. Imagine you had a cube that was a meter on each side, like a meter stick long. The volume of that cube would be length times width times height, which would be 1 times 1 times 1, or 1 cubic meter. But in centimeters, it'd be a little bit different. There's 100 centimeters for the length, 100 centimeters for the width, and 100 centimeters for the height. So the volume of a cube in cubic centimeters would be 100 times 100 times 100, which is a million, or 10 to the sixth. The trick here is to remember that if you're converting a unit that's cubed, or squared, for example, in the example of area, then whatever the standard conversion factor is, you have to cube or square that conversion factor. So that would end up with 1 times 10 to the minus 6 cubic meters. And last but not least, I mean, if you wanted to write that out the long way, well, you'd got a lot of zeros to write. You'd have to write five zeros and then the 6 or then the 1. So the scientific notation is way more uh, compact and I hope you can get used to using it. In any case, to get the density, you have to take the mass, now in kilograms, and divide it by the volume, now in meters, and if you do that, 
in scientific notation, you get 7.9 times 10 to the second. Or, if you do it out the long way, you just get 790 kilograms per cubic meter. So that's how you can calculate the density, how do you convert the density of grams per cubic centimeter into kilograms per cubic meter in a two-step process. But that's a little cumbersome, so I'd like to show you that there's a one-step process that arrives at the same thing much more efficiently. Maybe it's a little abstract, but nevertheless, it amounts to the same thing. Let's try it this way. You take the quantity that you're starting with, 0.79, and it's grams in the numerator and cubic centimeters in the denominator. And you want to string along factors that will convert each of those and result with kilograms in the numerator and cubic meters in the denominator. So let's work on the grams first. You're going to make a factor that's going to put grams in the denominator and kilograms in the numerator because you want the grams to go away and the kilograms to survive. So that would be one kilogram is 10 to the third grams or a thousand if you like. Now we got to get the centimeters, cubic centimeters, converted to cubic meters. So we're going to string along another factor. However, this time we're going to want the centimeters in the numerator because in our given quantity it's in the denominator and we would like them to cancel out. And we want to left with meters in the denominator for our result. Now the other thing that I might do right now is to remember that we're going to want to cube this because we're going to want to get the cubic centimeters into cubic meters. So I know that one meter is a hundred centimeters. So what this amounts to on your calculator, if you can make the keys work appropriately. You start with 0.79 and you're going to multiply it by 10 to the second raised to the third. Well that's 10 to the sixth. That's a million. So you're going to take 0.79 and multiply it by 10 to the sixth and then you're going to divide it by 10 to the third. So if you're going to do that on your calculator you're probably going to want to put parentheses around the thing in the denominator or you can use the e the E key on your calculator. You would do 1E3. Maybe I can make a video later that will show you how to do it. But in, all, in the end, you end up with the same result as before, but in one swoop that involves much less think, uh, thinking. Or if you want the decimal equivalent of that, 790 kilograms per cubic meter. So that's how you convert density in grams per cubic centimeter into kilograms per cubic meter. But really this is an example of how you can convert any set of units to any other set of units by stringing along factors in a way that doesn't involve a whole lot of thinking.